I posted photos of the original play area a few months ago. The matching bookcases were great for storage, but they felt really too heavy for a cozy play area like I wanted. So we put one in storage and moved the remaining bookcase to a small niche on the side of the room. This also freed up space for the small activity tables I was able to buy from a friend. The kids like to work on projects before school, but that means we have to clean up all the pieces before we can start our school day. So these little tables are already helping to solve that problem. They also give us a place to keep the storage ottomans that we use for storing toys. And yeah, recovering those is yet another project for this space. The tables are solid wood, so I'm thinking about sanding the tops and painting the skirt and legs, or I might paint the whole table. I'm just not sure yet. The play area is in our living room, and the walls are going to be the same creamy white that we used in the schoolroom. It gives the house a neutral background so we can add pops of color without feeling visually overwhelmed. I decided to take advantage of this when painting the bookcase. It was in desperate need of paint, so I found this lovely soft green from Waverly. It's cheerful but subtle, and I think it will give a cozy, nature-like feel to the play area, even in winter, which can be pretty gray around here. This was my first time using chalk paint, and I was definitely nervous, and probably should have watched a few more videos before I tackled this, but here we go. They say chalk paint is no prep, but there were some pretty bad scratches on this, so I decided to sand those down a little bit, and then, um, according to the videos I did watch, uh, they said to use vinegar to get grease and fingerprints and stuff off. They also said to water down the paint, and that was definitely true with the Waverly. It's really, really thick. to use wood filler to cover up this damaged portion of the shelf but then my boys informed me that they had used it all for their projects so no wood filler so I decided to just go ahead and paint over that area and then we'll just have that side of the shelf back against the wall and I think we'll be fine. Don't let the peaceful music deceive you. Um, I was actually doing this in the middle of a very busy house, a busy day. The kids were sitting behind the camera debating whether the name celery for this color really fit the color, and somehow that devolved into an entire Star Wars conversation. I'm not exactly sure how that happened. So yeah, it was, it was a pretty eventful project. After the first coat, I still had a little bit of paint left in the jar, which was a pleasant surprise. For the second coat, I decided to add more water to the paint. This thinned it down a bit more and just it helped it go on more smoothly. I also started to paint a little more systematically. I decided to focus on the larger flat surfaces before working on the edges and facing and it just helped keep the edges a little neater and made things a little less frustrating. I had to 
film this in the middle of the house, but I tried to set it up so the kids could still get where they needed to go without walking in front of the camera. So on day two, they decided that they were done talking about Star Wars and instead were going to see how well they could sneak up the stairs without getting in the camera. And so they were actually crawling under the white tables that we had pushed to the side so they could go up the stairs while the other one watched in the camera to see if they had made it or not. As you can see from the bag that I put down on the floor, I am kind of infamous for being a messy painter. And I actually did end up getting a few drops on the rug and that panicked for a second, but I was really surprised they actually came out right away. I don't know if it's because this is an acrylic paint, but when they say that it washes up with soap and water, they mean it, it, it came right out. After the second coat dried, I used Waverly's Clear Wax to seal everything. With chalk paint, I even after it just sat overnight, I found that it was starting to chip in a couple places just from people, you know, being near it and stuff. So the wax is definitely essential. I actually went ahead and put on probably more than you're supposed to, just because this is going to be used heavily by the kids and I wanted to make sure that everything was well sealed, especially on the shelves with the books being slid in and out. process I was watching a video by Christina Mascari another youtuber um, from the channel pretty distressed I'll link the video down below and she was comparing one of the first uh, most famous chalk paints Annie Sloan to the Waverly and she pointed out something really interesting about the waxes the Waverly wax is actually much more liquidy whereas your traditional waxes are more what you would really think of when you see a wax. I actually did not mind the liquid form. I felt it went on really well. And when I went to buff everything out the next day, it came out really well to a nice, nice finish. And uh, I've had to clean a few spots since then, some fingerprints, and you can actually see the water beating up on the wax. So I think it's doing a good job of sealing the piece. Mm -hmm. 